running to make history as the first two-term Democratic governor of Virginia since the Civil War is former Governor Terry McAuliffe. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you've had a busy schedule. So out of the five Democrats running to become governor, you've been the favorite front runner. So if you do get the party's nomination now in the primaries, how do you plan to go up against a Republican Party's candidate, Glenn Youngkin, in November? Listen, the big challenge for Virginia is going to be leading the country out of this COVID crisis, getting folks back to work, getting everybody health care, keeping people in their homes. And I've laid out a big, bold plan. If you look at my website, I have uh, over 130 pages of very serious policy proposals. The Republican nominee, now he's a rich billionaire, private equity, who said he's going to spend $75 million of his own money. But, you know, the first thing he did was accept the endorsement of Donald Trump. Then he gave a rally speech that he wants to end abortion here in Virginia. He wants to put more guns on the street. He's part of the whole big lie conspiracy. That's just not where Virginia is. I mean, I had to deal with that before as governor to stop the anti-women, anti-gay legislation. We are an open and welcoming state, great education system. That's why I was able to recruit 1,100 businesses to move here to Virginia and create 200,000 jobs. So there will be a stark contrast between a is actually extreme right-wing billionaire, private equity billionaire, wanting to spend 75 million, and you know who's hugging Donald Trump and the big lie conspiracy. We got to move forward in a positive way, and that's my message, and that's why I'm running for governor, and that's why I have so many endorsements from people from all over the Commonwealth. So, you know, like you're saying, you're relying on your past experience as governor to win, but the other Democratic candidates, they're actually <clears throat> using that against you. They're saying that there needs to be new leadership and a fresh perspective to win against the Republican Party. But what do you say to that? I'd say I have the biggest, boldest ideas. Go to my website. I have 130 very specific uh, policy pages of what I will do. But that's why if you look at, you know, I have twice as many of the support of the General Assembly members as everybody else combined. I have three times the support of the Black Caucus uh, as everybody else running combined. They know we were big and bold before. I had to deal, as you remember, I inherited the largest deficit in the history of the state from the Republicans, left a gigantic surplus, created 200,000 new jobs, and leaned in on the social, uh, criminal justice, civil rights issues. I restored more felon rights than any governor in U.S. history. Um, I leaned in. Now we've got COVID and the pandemic. It's time for experience and time for someone big, bold ideas to take Virginia to the next level. No more tinkering around the edges. If you look at education, I'm calling for a $2 billion investment. Why? We're 50th out of 50 states in average teacher pay when it compares to the pay of your citizens. Really? We're the 10th wealthiest state in America, and you wonder why we're down 1,000 teachers. Pay our teachers. Get every child pre-K. Make sure every child is online. That's an education system that's going to lead the country and allow our economy to charge like it did last time when I was governor. So, you know, this past year, Virginia has passed some of the most progressive legislations ever in its history. And this November will pretty much decide how Virginia voters react to this change. So let's say if you do win the primaries now in the gubernatorial race in November, what direction will you take the Commonwealth as governor? Listen, I will take the Commonwealth as I did before to be the most open and welcoming state, respecting everybody's civil rights, constitutional rights, a place that everybody wants to raise their child, a state that everyone knows has one of the greatest education systems in the country. And you know, as I say, you know, I wrote the bid for Amazon to get Amazon to move their 25,000 new jobs, 125,000 uh, average salary. I'm the one who recruited Nestle Corporation to move out of California to come here to Virginia. So 200,000 new jobs I created last time as governor, we got to do it again. But I want to the Commonwealth to be a state that is respected all over the country for the best education. I want to see us get those 700,000 Virginians health care that don't have it today, including 100,000 children. We have 260,000 Virginians today that are under threat of eviction. Let's keep everybody in their home. Uh, we need more affordable housing units. So big and bold. You know, Richmond likes say the old Richmond way likes to tinker around the edges. We cannot do that with COVID. It has showed the inequities we have in our system. Now it's time to go big. Now it's time to be bold. It is time to knock those doors down. 
I did it before with a Republican legislature, stopped all of their anti-women, anti-gay, anti-environment, pro-gun legislation. Now with the Democratic legislature, this state is going to take off like a booster rocket. That's what I'm excited about, and that's why I'm running for governor. Democratic candidate for governor, Terry McCall, thank you so much again for your time. Really appreciate it, and we hope to check in with you again soon.